Hello and welcome to Proper Foundation Field with Shield Grounding. Here we have a demonstration segment set up. Starting with a Rawcom F800 series power supply, then a MTL F300 series megawatt, that's a device coupler, and finally we have our field instrument. The key to good foundation field bus grounding is to use foundation field bus approved shielded twisted pair cable and to ground at a single point. Rawcom recommends grounding the segment at the power supply. It's important not to ground at two points, for example, at the instrument or at the device coupler in addition to the power supply, because the differences in ground potential throughout the plant could lead to current flowing through the shield and reducing noise in the segment, defeating the purpose of the shield. The shield protects the segment from electrical noise, and care must be taken to ensure proper shield integrity. One area that's often overlooked is the inside of the instrument case. Here you can see that the shield drain wire is touching the outside of the case, causing an intermittent ground. The same could happen with the foil. Now we'll see how to properly prepare the fieldless cable for the instrument. Start by cutting off the excess foil. Then take the shield drain wire, make sure it's not too long, and fold it back along the jacket of the cable. Then take out some heat shrink tubing. Use the heat shrink tubing to cover the excess foil and the shield drain wire. Heat shrink tubing works best for this application, but tape can also work if heat shrink isn't available. Now that our cable is ready, it's time to reinstall on the instrument. Here's what a clean, finished instrument will look like. Don't forget to tighten the cable gland.